What's up guys, this is Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com and today we're exploring Desert X. So I picked up my buddy Jared today and we're going out to check out Desert X, which is this art installation that's happening all over the Coachella Valley. There's like 14 different pieces of art that you can see. So uh, we're gonna grab a map and see if we can see all of them today. So we're at our first Desert X sculpture of the day. It's called One Eye Call and it's in the whitewash white water preserve. So this really is an awesome time to be out here as well because there's so many wildflowers on the trail. So we're in a shopping center and this is our second stop. It's called Donation Box. It's like a sand with cigarette butts, but we can't actually go inside. Our next stop brings us to the Palm Springs Art Museum, and this is the uh, exhibit called Alive. You can actually go down into the sculpture garden if you want to pay to go into the museum, or you can just see it from the parking lot, which is what we did. It is an old wind turbine propeller that uh, has been made into a pretty cool art piece. The Ace Hotel is ground zero for Desert X, so that's where we were just at. We got a map so that we can find all the other spots. So we're at Sunnyland Gardens and I believe this exhibit is called Hearth. So we're in Palm Desert and this is the aptly titled Curves and Lines. So we're now in the town of Coachella and this one is called, please excuse my Spanish, La Fiesta en el Des Desierto. La Fiesta en el Desierto. I think that was the best one yet. It's about 30 minutes from the last one that we were just at, so obviously if you're planning on coming out to uh, Desert X, you wanna plan a good half day to three quarters of a day to be able to drive in between and see all of these different uh, spots. Next door, there's also the uh, chicken art, which I have to say is pretty awesome as well. Not part of Desert X, but awesome. So this is the Hollow Earth exhibit. What's really cool about this is it's like a scavenger hunt. You have to text for a door code, and then you can put it in, and it lets you access the art. Unfortunately, uh, it's not currently working. It needs to charge, but... Put your cell phone on with the flashlight on, and it gives you that appearance of what it would look like if the actual light was on. This is one of the most popular exhibits in all of Desert X. It's called the Circle of Land and Sky, and it's pretty cool, especially at sunset. I feel like there's so many different ways to experience it that I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right, but everything is reflective and interesting. This 
This is the I Am exhibit. It's open from 7 to 10 at night. Unfortunately, we won't be here at night, so this is all you can see during the day. At night, these spots light up with neon lights, and from above, you can see it says I Am. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see it during the night. Let me know. This exhibit is called Monument. You actually have to email in order to get a key for it, but during busy times, you obviously don't need a key as there's a line. It's a bunker in the ground. This exhibit is called Visible Distance and it's best experience from a car. They're billboards that mimic what would be behind them if the billboard wasn't there. This is our last stop of the day. It's the most popular spot in all of Desert X. It's called Mirage and it's obviously a mirrored house. Thanks for exploring Desert X with us. It was a super fun full day adventure. The top three spots, I think. First, the Mirror House Mirage. It's hard to beat this. Second, the uh, mirrors that were coming out of the earth. I think it was called Cloud, Circle of Cloud and Sky. That one's really cool too. I actually really liked the bunker that you go into. It would be awesome if there wasn't too many people there. So check that one out early if you can. And then Hearth which is the one with the circle and the uh, blue human in the middle. That was a really cool one to see in person as well. Honestly though, if you have a full day, come check all of them out. It's open until April 30th and they're all free. Check out CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com for more.